Hello, my name is Fear Phelps of Phelps 3D, and in this FreeCAD 016 tutorial, I'm going to be discussing how to use the array, the ortho array, to create a bunch of holes in an object. This project is not going to be a 3D printed object, it's more for, as a mock up if, for designing a 3D printer um, in FreeCAD. So, this part I probably won't actually see print. This is basically a espresso machine drip tray. But the way I'm going to be trying to use it is um, for designing a resin 3D printer virtually before I try to build it. Um, I'm working with the Folsom Makers group right now, and this is the build tray that we've chosen. Um, okay, so let's get on to it. So I've got an open blank document. I'm going to be in part design. I want to create a sketch on the XY plane. And we're going to create a box. Rectangle. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and fillet these corners. I selected that. Sorry. And then the click the top point here, control, click the bottom one. I'm going to set that to 171. Say OK. And then for this distance here, I'm clicking to top of the lines. And I'm setting that to 96. And then we're going to change the radiuses for all the fillets to 14. And then we're going to pin this to the y-axis, and then put the top here, put the bottom one here, click the x-axis, and do a symmetry. Whoops, something not crazy there. I'm sorry about this, folks. My mouse is screwed. I'm going to delete that constraint because it didn't constrain the way I was thinking it would. I should have gone quick. Maybe somehow I had someone still selected someone else. And then symmetry there. Okay. Stream sketch and close, and then we're going to pad that just one millimeter. And then we're going to switch over to parts, and then we're going to switch to 3D rules, and then And creating a cylinder. Doesn't matter how tall it is, as long as it's taller than the object or same. 
the radius of the cylinder is 3.2. There we're going to move it. I'm going to move it in the y negative 70. Okay, and we're going to move it forward 19. I'm just going to double check on the 70 to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the draft tool, workbench, and use the ortho array. And the number is going to be on the X is seven and on the Y is 15. Then we gotta give it an interval on both of those. So the interval is 10 millimeters. millimeters. There, now you have all the little things we use to cut. And I'm gonna get rid of the Grid. So grid. Go part. Click on the pad. Click on the array. Control click or shift click or just like that, and then do a cut. And there we have our part. And you can go file save. If you really want to, you could export it out in STL on this. Um, I'm just going to call it trip. Like I said, if you really wanted to and you wanted to try to print this, you could. But this was just to, to be used as a mock up and a design file. So thank you for watching and have a good day.